Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of stuff to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. The region name may have leaked, we also have a bunch of new theories to go over, rumours, speculations, loads to cover for the new Generation 9 game. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to be taking a look at this apparent leaked region name for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Of course, we still don't know the region name. Very surprising that they have not revealed it yet, uh, which makes me feel like there's more than meets the eye um, with the region name, whether it's going to be a different name in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We'll have to wait and see, but... This was posted by Blaze Incineroar saying, This came up on 4chan and it's supposed to be the name of the region. Does anyone know how to translate this? So this is what pops up. And then we have people translating it and stuff. So A-V-U-S-N-D-L-Y-F-A-V-U. So these could be all the different letters um, which all of these mean. Which obviously, uh, like, one, I guess, combination is Asdia or Asdaya. Based on this Galarian alphabet reconstruction. I think it's Azula. It could also be Azula here. Um, just, again, making comparisons and stuff to the Galarian um, kind of alphabet thing. Because that's what it is. It's taken from Pokemon Sword and Shield as the Galarian alphabet. Like, there's loads of different kind of pieces of this sort of text throughout Pokemon Sword and Shield. And this is kind of like the alphabet and stuff. So it's kind of just cracking the code of it. Again, we don't know if this is true or not. Someone could have just taken a look at the Sword and Shield alphabet thing and then just posted this um, to try and do like a smart riddle or something. Um, but yeah, Azja or Azula it could be. Azul, Azuljos, definitely a good name, but it would have to tie in with the color blue, I think. Doesn't seem to be one of the focus as red, yellow, purple, and somewhat green. Two possibilities here. Chinese leak might be fake. And also number two, Game Freak decided to add up more interpretations of some letters into the Galarian alphabet. Um, yes, what could, as we have said, give another IRO letter to that letter we saw in the first trailer. Just put in perspective, that second letter has a little part aligned with the middle of the first letter, which is obviously up here, as you can see. And then I feel like I'm stretching this, but I think you're right. And then I feel like it doesn't fit. Um, again, this is the region name here on top of the map. But of course, we didn't see the whole map in the Pokemon trailer. Um, we just know it starts with like this V thing, uh, whatever this is, which apparently... Um, could either be an A, a V, or a U, um, but it's most likely going to be an A. But I guess it could be a V and a U as well, to be fair. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's just um, some more information about the region na uh, name there. Um, and then, yeah, just more people talking about it. Um, found it, the person who put it up, Pico, Pico Fluffy. This is where I found the Pokemon alphabet. Interesting. Azula region, but sure, believe alphabet's Pokemon map region, Gen 9. So a lot of people kind of are coming up with the idea that it starts with an A. Um, but this V is definitely what it starts with, because that is what's seen on the reveal trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You can see it right up here. So that's definitely what it starts with. Um, but again, the rest of the letters we don't know. And that letter could either be an A, a V, or a U. Um, so that is kind of what we're working with. We just know it starts with an A. Um, but again, we've already been over that in the past. But this is just something that popped up on 4chan. Could be completely fake. Could be potentially true. We don't know. We should get the region name in the next trailer. Fingers crossed. Whether that happens or not, we'll have to wait and see. But again bit weird that they haven't revealed it yet but we'll have to wait and see that's the first thing we're going to be going over the second thing we're going to be talking about is this twitter thread by soul silver art it's talking about like infrared ultraviolet stuff like that so he tweets out saying in relation to time infrared and ultraviolet are one of the two opposite sides of the light spectrum and they will never meet much like the future is always going in one direction opposite to the past they are also the two ends of the light spectrum we're visible to humans light ends so basically it's just like a parallel thing and these two like let's just say this is in, uh, infrared this is ultraviolet just like this is the past and this is the future these two things will never meet they will just always be parallel um and and that will be it throughout time and stuff it's just two things that just cannot meet um and also also kind of interesting that they're facing like the other way as well from each other i don't usually know if we have that i think we had that in black and white um but i'm pretty sure they're usually facing towards each other but either way don't know if that has anything to do with it the next thing we're going to be going over is this and what is exactly in the middle of those two ends the visible light spectrum that is visualized as a rainbow which is basically any light artificial or sunlight natural related to time being in the middle of the two ends of infra and uv would sig uh, signify being the present time so that could be like some sort of um, evidence towards this whole rainbow situation going on here 
All this to say, I believe the colors and light spectrum is a metaphor for past, present, and future, and the extent of being related to the box legends is mostly that, as well as their overall designs being colored after Scarlet right before Infra and Violet right before UV. So this is obviously my current thought process by James saying, um, instead of focusing on the past or future, it's better to live in the present, perhaps the game's main theme with the villains the opposite of whoever the professor is. So obviously we have Nimona here, um, which of course, name does translate to nobody uh, which again could be like nobody in time or nobody because they don't belong anywhere in time so they could come from just like a different universe or something and then sada is obviously the past which is pokemon scarlet and then violet um is turo which is of course to do with the future so that could be that and then the two opposite sides of the light spectrum or the time spectrum however it flips with the third legendary and the visible light rainbow is a not only indicative of what time is representing present slash middle time but also its design inspiration and its light is the source of the region and gimmick this is the perfect way to explain this metaphor i'm talking about in this thread um so it makes sense we can only see so far back into the past before we lose sight of it and we can't see the future because we can't see the present so uh, that's a cool way of like um kind of a, a nice synopsis of basically what that kind of theory is there but that's just talking about the gimmick or what the themes of the game might be uh the next thing we're going to be talking about is this so this is talking about what the rf um could be that riddler who was talking about um basically if you don't know he basically um uploaded that poll on twitter and it said like loads of different things and basically people wanted to see the starters more but one of the options was RF, and we all just took that to mean regional form. But then Riddler Koo said, you know, that it's not regional form. RF means something different. So obviously, we're just going into this massive um, idea of what RF could be. So I've heard so many amazing guesses at what Koo's new RF is. Regional faller, ride forms, etc. And they could be uh, options, but I'm going with one of my own personal theories, a riveting new regional feature. I've got nothing to back this up other than it makes sense to me after um, the trailer. So, yeah, riveting new uh, regional feature. I mean, that makes sense to be fair. Like, a regional feature could definitely work. Well, okay, this is the exact opposite of what I was thinking of. So, it's probably regional F. What do you guys think the F stands for? I can't think of much right now. Future feature function help. So, yeah, this is where he's talking about how the F is a lot more important than the R. So, regional is probably what the R stands for, but then F could be something completely different. Um, but anyway, yeah, he goes on to say, we see there are many new features in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, racing, ride legendaries, gimmick, etc. However, I believe there'll be another boss Pokemon like in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I mean, these aren't necessarily new features to be fair. We've, we've not really had racing before. I mean, we've had like Mantine surfing and stuff. Riding legendaries we've had before and then obviously it's going to be a new gimmick. Um, but yeah, could have boss battles, light legends, Arceus, noble slash alphas. There is a new feature in this new open world. So I think certain Pokemon will become a huge and change form. Case in point, Diglett slash Dugtrio will get a riveting new regional feature equals where they gain a new boss form that you have to defeat. This is probably the big Pokemon we see underground in the trailer. Ku said the fake Mon Diglett nailed it, so I expect something similar to be one of the new Scarlet and Violet regional features that change Pokemon themselves other than the gimmick, ride, or regional form. So yeah, this was seen from the trailer and we can kind of see like some sort of Pokemon here. Like that, that might be Diglett's nose there, but this is taken from the trailer um and yeah is is where something is clearly burrowing underground and just like shoots up or something but of course the trailer cuts so we can't really see what it is uh, but regional fossil is also one that stuck me uh, struck me good chance old fossils get regional forms but that doesn't really add up with diglett regional founders make sense with time related forms too and then this may sound like i meant this would replace gyms but no i believe both features will be in scarlet and violet i think it would make sense in scarlet and violet is obviously if we had the gyms but then like a little bit like skyrim you know where you've got like all the stuff that you have to do but then you can every now and again pop into like an area and then a dragon comes in you're like oh no dragon and it could be like that you know it could just be some really powerful pokemon like alpha pokemon um mini bosses that just kind of pop in every now and again in an open world spot um they just randomly spawn and they could have maybe a chance of being shiny etc i think it'd be a really cool idea so basically alpha pokemon in scarlet and violet but maybe just in a different way like bosses or something but anyway game freak modeled scarlet and violet after great open world games it probably has many features slash quests slash bosses to keep us engaged i've got to add q's retweet as evidence as to why diglett is important so yeah this is why we were kind of backing the idea that we might get something with diglett as well because riddler q retweeted this um which the japanese you uh, japanese twitter account for pokemon um tweeted out and it's obviously to do with diglett and stuff so again rf could 
still mean anything we don't really know what are your thoughts on it let me know about that uh, the last thing we're going to go over is this um it's quite saddening news to be fair it was posted by nintendo everything but it's kind of making its rounds on twitter and stuff but basically james turner is leaving game freak as he's announcing his new gaming studio so james turner best known as the art director for pokemon sword and shield and he's also worked on a bunch of other pokemon as well i think he made like poi pole and the ganondor and stuff like that um but yeah, he's announced the formation of a new game studio, All Possible Futures, and also confirmed that because of that, he has left Game Freak. Turner has a long history with the Pokemon franchise, being the first Western artist to design Pokemon with black and white in 2010, and has designed a total of 22 Pokemon across three generations, including the Vanillite line, Gigantamax Gengar, and the Galarian variants of the Zigzagoon line. Prior to this, he worked for Genius Sor uh, Sorority, the company behind GameCube spin-off titles Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD Gales of Darkness for eight years, and he also directed the 2012 Nintendo 3DS eShop title Harmo Knight. So quite a nice track record to be fair, you know, some good Pokemon that he's designed and also worked on Coliseum and Gales of Darkness. Now we know those games absolutely bang. So yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate seeing that he is leaving, um, but of course, best to look to him. I hope this new game studio thing pops off for him and, you know, he deserves it. He's, 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 he's given us a lot of really cool Pokemon, a lot of cool Pokemon games. And yeah, he deserves all the success in the world. But thought I'd just include that to kind of, you know, finish off today's video. But that is going to be everything to talk about today for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. It's trying to 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.